Hello everyone, I want to welcome you back. If you're new here, my name's Richard. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and I go to garage sales and thrift stores. I take those undervalued items and I sell them on eBay for a profit. Right now we're in Q4 and sales for me, since I do it part-time, are on fire. I hope they're doing the same for you as well. So let's stop with the talking and let's jump into the eBay store and see what's sold. Today we've got 13 orders going out for a little over $583, so we better get started. First thing we have going out is a vintage 90s caboodle style travel case box makeup, small 8 inch teal purple. That's in bin N. That should be right over here. Oh, here it is back here. Pick this up in my local thrift store for $2. This sold for $14.41 and the buyer is paying six 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 thirty five dollars in shipping. Next thing we have going out is a vintage Furby. Picked up two of these at my local thrift store. They also had six of the Furby plushes and I picked those up as well. They date back to 1999. It's soft pink blue white it is from tiger electronics and i did test it this is in bin j3 that's going to be over here now i did pick up i do have two of them one's with the tag and one is does not have the tag you can see this one has the tag Let's see if we can get this open one-handed no So it's this right here, into this for a dollar. This sold for $32.95 and the buyer is paying $8.25 in shipping. Next thing going out is in Ben L3 right next to it. It's a vintage Hallmark keepsake, 1998 and it's the Night Watch Christmas ornament. Gonna be back here, and it's this one right here. Pick this up at my local thrift store. I'm into it for 25 cents. This sold for 506, and the buyer is paying five dollars in shipping. This next item have had for a while. It's a Missouri Tiger beanie tassel cap hat one size top of the world football winter it's in bin c probably had this maybe i picked it up last year i'm thinking or earlier this year hopefully this is it right here yes into this for 25 cents this sold for $11.01 and the buyer is paying $5.60 in shipping. Okay, the next thing going out is on shelf eight. And this is a, the reason I picked them up, a lot of Pyrex. The newer stuff really isn't worth a whole lot, especially the clear stuff, but I did pick up a couple of these. It's a vintage Pyrex, and it was called Fluted Cranberry Glass Pie Plate. It is number 229 Deep Dish. Let's see here. Probably down to bottom. Yep, down here. Let's move this. Oh, that's a uh, cash register out of the way. Uh -oh. Let's 
As you see, I do have a couple of them. And they are all the same. We look at the back of it. And the number's right there. So into this for a dollar. This sold for $12.71 and the buyer is paying $10.80 in shipping. Next item, I have had this probably close to two years. I picked it up at one of my thrift stores here locally. That was back when the tapestries, they were only charging about two, three dollars. Now they've since raised the price. I very seldom look at them. This is a vintage University of Texas Longhorn throw blanket Afghan tapestry. It's 48 inches by 60 inches. I did put rare. I don't use that term very often. This is in bin V2. That should be right down here. I believe this is it. Let's make sure we don't have any more in here. Yes, this has got to be it. So you really can't tell what it looks like in the bag here, but I do have a photo put up of it. Into this for three dollars. This sold for $79.86 and the buyer is paying $11 in shipping. This next item is a pretty good item. I got this from a friend of mine, so I'm into it for nothing. It's a new Singer Talent Sewing Machine Model 33. 23s it is new in the box she had it she never used it and so it's this right here which i'm glad to see this go because this is taking up room in my aisle way along with these speakers so here it is here let's see if we can pick this up so Let's see, get you to see it. Let's into this for nothing. This sewing machine right here sold for $124.56 and the buyer is paying $20.35 in shipping. Now, if I remember, I'll go ahead and film me packing this up to give you an idea of how to pack up some big things like a sewing machine. It's always nice to be moving those bigger things out and making room for other stuff. Okay, next item is Vintage Johnson Brothers Colonial Overhang Heritage Hall Ironstone. It's four teacups. Did pick these up at my thrift store. It's on shelf seven. That's going to be tucked over here. And yes, see those right there. That won't work. <laughs> Grab two of them, put them right there. And two more. So I'll show you here. Does have something in there. Picked up the entire set. It had 12 plus the sugar and creamer dish. So I'm into the entire set for $5. I'll just grab two of these. A set of four of these sold for $26.66. And the buyer is paying $11.80 in shipping. Okay, if I didn't say I picked those teacups up at my local thrift store. Next thing we have going out is a 2023 20, Gloria Estefan 360 Media Special Edition. And it was labeled Her Legacy Cuban Refugee. So, it's going to be in here. Let me dig for it and I'll come right back. Okay, didn't have to dig too, too far down. I believe this is the only one we have. 
Again, my free magazines I get from my thrift store. This sold for $5.30 and the buyer is paying $3.92 in shipping. And yes, this is going media mail. Next thing going out is a vintage Bible. It's a vintage leather holy Bible new encyclopedia reference edition. This thing had some, some condition issues and one of the pages has been pulled out like it came apart. I did disclose that. The buyer came in and asked me if there was any more. I went and pulled the magazine. I went and pulled the Bible and double checked. I didn't see any because I wanted to get rid of it because it did have condition issues. I dropped it. It was at $18.95 and I sent him an offer. So it's this one right up here. Got this at my local thrift store for free. Went and sent an offer to a buyer on this for $16.85. They accepted and they are paying $5.42 in shipping. Don't think when I pulled the item, I stated that this Bible dates back to 1971. Next item, it's a pretty, pretty cool item. It's a vintage 1990s Marlboro soft-sided insulated travel or cooler lunchbox. This is in bin U2 and should be right there. This is it right here. Yes. So I did put it in a bag already. Paid $2 at my local thrift store. This sold for $23.99 and the buyer is paying $10.35 in shipping. Next item, I did pay up for this. I thought it might be worth a little bit more, but we still made a decent profit on it. It's a vintage blue white Reese Eye green tea set with, chrysan with chrys chrysanthemum. <laughs> I can't even pronounce that right. Pattern on the tray and on the cups. This is on shelf seven. Don't know if it's the older shelf seven. And I'm not seeing it, so it's got to be one of the newer shelves. And so it's probably going to be tucked away back in here somewhere. And probably, there it is, right down there. Let's see if we can get that. I think I'm going to pull it out in a little bit by little bit. Okay, oh, don't break. So, here it is here. Paid $15 at my local thrift store. This sold for $44.46, and the buyer is paying $14.56 in shipping. This will definitely take some bubble wrap and some time to pack this up. And what I use, I use American Bubble Boy. Get it within two days and it's very reliable. So if you want to help the channel out, go ahead and use my affiliate link to American Bubble Boy right up here. Don't get much, but it definitely helps me out. Also too, you can get your go-to tape from American Bubble Boy as well. This is getting heavy. And the last thing we have going out, I just picked this up last week. I can't remember at one of my thrift stores. Can't remember if it was Thursday or Friday. Got it listed over the weekend. This is a Fujifilm Fine Picks A Series A700 7.3 MP digital camera. It is silver and I did test it. Did put 
and this is because I copied the listing Y2K Digicam. Okay, this is in, does not have a custom skew, it just says skew. So, okay, we're probably gonna have to try to remember where I put that. Let me set the camera down and I'll find it. Okay, didn't have to dig too, too far. I, I checked these three bins. I knew it was right in here somewhere and it's in J3. So it's this right here. I did put it in a bag just to keep it protected. So when I purchased this, it had a camera bag with it, but the camera bag was all flaky and on the black and it was like falling apart and I just threw that away. So into this for $3. This sold for 32 even and the buyer is paying $6.35 in shipping. Okay, so I've got to pack this thing up. It does have the original box, but it doesn't have the original packing that was originally included with it. So, oops, let's not break it. But you can see it's brand new. It still has the original tape on the whatever you call this thing, the bobber part, I don't know. That's the thing about reselling is you don't have to know that much about the item. You just have to know how to list it and get it sold. So I'm just kind of like wiping it down a little bit. Grab some bubble wrap. I'm going to use the big bubble wrap today. American Bubble Boy. in okay I am gonna double box this so I just want to get it somewhat closed Okay, we'll get the other box. Okay, we got our second box. Take all this stuff off. Probably can't see. Some paper down on the sides.
And we're weighing in at 1711. 17 pounds, 11 ounces. Now I'll measure the box. Actually, I have the measurements on the bottom. So this is an 18, 13, 18, but we cut it down so 18 by 13. We'll call that 17. And there we go. So as you can see from today's sale, we had a pretty good sales day. I hope this trend continues. And I hope this trend continues. If you wouldn't mind, hit that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Also too, if you're not currently subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification and you'll be notified the next time I do a video. Until next time, keep picking.